Hi, this is Amit Chopra from Neo Axel, and I will be giving you a video demonstration of the end user experience of using VMware View over Neo Axel's SSL VPN. Neo Axel is a third generation SSL VPN providing secure access to VMware View infrastructure over the internet. Now the end user experience and the resolution available over the PC over IP session is directly dependent on the underlying VPN server. Owing to its patented ICA technology, kernel level packet processing and dynamic compression, NeoAxel is able to provide a high performance VPN session with a single digit latency. The other advantage of NeoAxel lies in its ability to assess the end user's machine for the presence of administrative rights, client components pre-installed and then accordingly provide access to the VMware view environment without any user intervention. Now let's look at the different client modes provided by VMware View. First is a full view client which supports all features of VMware View. The client needs to be installed on the end user's machine and once installed it can be used by any user. But what about if you wanted to access the view environment from a Kiosk or a web cafe where you might not have the admin privileges to install the full view client. For this very reason VMware View provides a thin client which is a stripped down version of the full client. The advantage of the thin client is that it does not need to be installed on the end user's machine and can be executed without any admin privileges. Similarly, New Axel provides two different modes of access. Full access client provides access to all applications running over any protocol. It requires admin privileges for first time installation, but once installed, can be run by any user. The other mode being the clientless mode, wherein NeoAxel leverages the browser components to create a smart tunnel to provide access to view environment. For today's demo, I will be demonstrating two scenarios. One wherein the user is logged in as a non-admin user with none of the components pre-installed. In this case, since no admin rights are present, NeoAxel will auto-deploy the clientless mode and deliver the view environment using the VMware view thin client. And then I will go over the second scenario wherein the user has the admin rights but with none of the components pre-installed. In this case, since NeoAxel determines admin rights are present, it will install the corresponding full client and provide access to the view environment. Before I jump into the actual demonstration, here's a brief idea of the setup. I've created a view setup in my lab and I'm running a new Axel virtual appliance with a public IP assigned to it. The roaming user will type in the public IP of new Axel in his browser and will then have access to the view environment seamlessly. So let me start with the actual demonstration wherein I'm going to be using a clean XP machine running over a VMware workstation with none of the components pre-installed. Uh, I'm going to first log in as a non-admin and then follow up with an admin user. Uh, the reason I choose non-admin first is because it's a restricted account with none of the components pre-installed. I'm going to type in the address corresponding to New Axel Virtual Appliance, which will open the login page of New Axel. So once I come to the portal page, it will first update the single sign-on components and I'm going to go ahead and log in with my domain credentials. So once authenticated, it would try to download the VMware view thin client over the client list mode and then launch it with single sign-on. Uh, so now that I'm connected to the view environment using the thin client, I can actually choose between the RDP or the PC or IP protocol. Uh, for the clientless mode, only the RDP is supported as of now. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. So now that I'm inside the XP machine provision inside the view environment for me. I can actually go to the options, uh, do a switch desktop or use any other features of the VMware view. 
or I can just launch any of the applications inside my view environment for example open my computer or any other applications so I'm just going to log out of this session and now let me log out of the new Axel portal so let me now showcase that even at the end of the session none of the client components have been installed and everything was using the browser components so let me now go and log out of my non-admin user and I'll log in into the admin user over XP Again, none of the client components are installed inside the admin user as well. And now I'm going to be typing the address corresponding to my new Excel virtual appliance. Let me go ahead and log in using my domain credentials real quick. So this time new Excel determines that it has the admin rights. So it will try to install the new Axel full access client. Uh, once the client is installed, it would automatically launch it without any user intervention. So as you can see on the right, the red icon corresponding to new Axel has been invoked. And simultaneously, it downloaded the VMware view full client and it is now trying to install it on the end user machine. So once installed, it would try to connect it to the view environment with the single sign-on. So let me minimize the browser and if you can see the clients are actually installed and now it will try to launch the VMware view full client. So over the VMware view full client, I can actually choose either PC or IP or RDP. I'm going to choose the PC or IP protocol to connect to the view environment. So here you go and uh, I'm connected to the XP machine provision for me. So I'm just going to go and quickly log out. So now that I am disconnected from my view client, I can actually relaunch it without having to re-log in into the new Axel appliance. So as you can see, the client is actually again connected once I clicked on the link. I can again choose any of the PC or IP or the RDP protocol and connect to the provisioned virtual machines. So let me log out and let me quickly go back to the control panel and now show that the client components are installed on the end machine. So as the last part of the demonstration, I'll go back to the non-admin user and I want to demonstrate that new Axel determines uh, that the client components are pre-installed and now it will try to use them instead of viewing over the clientless mode. Logging in with my domain credentials. So as you can see, it invoked the new Axel full client and used the view full client to connect to the view environment. Now, even from a non-admin, I can use the PC or IP and all the features of the VMware view. So that's it for the demo. Thank you for joining us in the demo. You can visit us at www.newaxel.com or send us your queries at eval.newaxel.com.